Hey guys, it's Sarah from Sleepopolis, and today we're taking a look at the plush down pillow from Brooklinen. I'm gonna show you what it's made of, what it feels like, which sleep styles it's best for, pretty much everything you need to know, so stay tuned. All right, so before I get into my first impressions of this pillow, I just wanna say, if throughout the course of this video any questions come up or you want a personal recommendation from me, please feel free to give me a shout in the comment section below and I'd be happy to help. Now, the first things I'm noticing about this pillow is first of all, the cover fabric is very soft to the touch, but it's also quite breathable. I can tell it's breathable because when I push into the pillow, I can feel the air sort of flowing through the fabric. So I'm getting a good idea that this pillow is gonna help me sleep cool. The next thing I notice is it's got this sort of classic hotel feel. You know, it's the kind of pillow you might find at a hotel. It's really cloud-like, really fluffable, and as the name suggests, has this really down-like feathery feel. So let's take a closer look at exactly what's inside this pillow. All right, so the cover fabric of this pillow is made from 100% cotton and woven into a 400 thread count. Now, cotton does tend to be a more breathable fabric, so that's why we're getting that nice airflow through the pillow, and the cotton does feel nice and light and breathable to the touch, but because it's woven into a nice high thread count of 400, it's giving it a really impeccably smooth feel. Now on the inside of this pillow is 100% Canadian white duck down. Now some of you might already be familiar with down pillows as like I said, they're frequently featured at hotels. But something that I love about down is it's got a reputation for this really fluffable, huggable, really feathery feel. Another great thing about down is that it's got a very supportively quick response to pressure, but it's also really easy to manipulate within the cover. What I mean by that is if you want to increase the loft, it responds really well to being fluffed. Just give it a few enlivening fluffs and you can see it just, the, the loft really increases, but also it's really easily compressed into a very low loft. So stomach sleepers in particular are generally more compatible with down or down alternative pillows because under pressure, you can really bring that loft down to, you know, an inch or less. Now, in the case of this particular down, the folks at Brooklyn and treat it with something called ultra fresh antibacterial additives, which basically make this pillow hypoallergenic, but also especially resistant to mold and mildew and any other icky allergens trying to crawl into your sleep space. Additionally, this down is ethically sourced. And if you wanna know more about the antibacterial additives used or the origin of where the down comes from, there is a lot of detailed info on Brooklinen's website. And as you can see, the pillow is a traditional shape. It's got an even loft on both sides. So if you wanna dress your pillow with a pillowcase, you totally can. All right, let's talk about which sleeping positions are gonna be best for this pillow. So after thoroughly rolling around with this pillow, I have determined that it's best for back and stomach sleepers. So stomach sleepers in particular need a pillow with a lower loft and ideally a compressible fill, which is why I said earlier that down and down alternative pillows are really ideal for stomach sleeping. The fill is really easy to manipulate and it you know, really compresses under pressure. Back sleeping, same thing. Back sleepers can kind of experiment with loft and firmness a little bit more than stomach sleepers can. When I was in the back sleeping position, I really found the down to sort of just puff up around the sides of my head, keeping me very comfortably cradled. And in both back and stomach sleeping positions, the most important thing is the loft and the firmness kept my head, neck, and spine all in neutral alignment. Now, though it does have a lofty build, which like I said, is very fluffable, it's too soft and too compressible for side sleeping. Side sleepers, in order to maintain that neutral spine alignment, need something with not only a very lofty build, but something that's a little bit firmer so that it's not gonna compress down taking your head with it. Now, that said, I am testing the plush down pillow here, which, like I said, is going to offer softer support. But Brooklyn also offers this pillow in a mid plush and a firm uh, option. So if you're interested in this pillow and you are a side sleeper or a back and side sleeper, you might want to try those firmer feels just to make sure you're getting that good support. All right. I know I've hit you with a lot of information, so let's recap the highlights and potential pitfalls so you can decide if this pillow is the right one for you. 
So there's a lot that I'm liking about this pillow, but just to name a few of my favorite features. So first of all, I love the feathery, fluffy feel of this down pillow, but also features a nice high fill power of 600. Now, fill power is a phrase that you're gonna see often if you're ever looking for down pillows or down comforters, down jackets. Basically, it's a term that refers to the measurement of how lofty, how fluffy, uh, a down product is. And so in my experience, some down pillows, it's kind of like really compressible. They sort of lose their shape over the course of the night, but aiming for a fill power with 600 or higher is a good way to make sure you're getting a nice fluffable pillow that's gonna maintain its shape. That said, because down is such a compressible material, this particular pillow is gonna be especially compatible with stomach sleepers. Now, like I said, stomach sleepers do need a lower lofted pillow with softer support, and getting a down pillow with, an, with a compressible fill is a good way to make sure that when you are in the prone position, everything's in healthy, neutral alignment. And for those of you who are kind of on the fence about sleeping on animal products, it's comforting to note that the down used in this pillow is ethically sourced from ducks who were responsibly raised. Not to mention, the down has been treated with the antibacterial additives that make sure this pillow is hypoallergenic, which might be particularly beneficial for those of you with sensitive skin or allergies. So a few things to note about this pillow before you make up your mind. First of all, wash care. So the folks at Brooklyn recommend that you only dry clean this pillow, just kind of keep it fresh for as long as possible. And of course, not everyone's gonna have the time or resources to, to dry clean their pillow every time it gets dirty. So if you really prioritize easy wash care, that is something to think about. Now, another thing to know is down pillows do tend to be a little bit pricier as compared to other types of pillows. And ranging from 99 to 119, this pillow is no exception. Now, it's worth noting that this is an average price for a down pillow, but again, it's just not gonna be in everyone's budget. Well, that's it for me, but for every last detail on this pillow, be sure to check out my full written review, which is linked below. And by the way, if you wanna know more about Brooklinen products, we reviewed quite a few of them, so just Google Sleepopolis Brooklinen and they'll all pop right up. Now, I do hope you found this video to be helpful, and if you did, be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, follow us on social media, so we're always uploading more content with one main thing in mind, to get you some better sleep. Well, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.